Comment sections online should be the beautiful public squares of our democracies, places we navigate to for frank and thoughtful exchanges of ideas, places where we learn to understand each other's points of view and where serious discussions evolve over time. But, of course, they are havens of the grossest abuse, verbal violence and cruelty. It's understandable if we sometimes conclude, after time reading comments, that humanity has lost its way. But there is another explanation. The source of dismissive and rude remarks and frustrating discussions isn't bad people. It's that commenting online isn't something we're naturally or automatically very good at. It is, however, a learnable skill. In fact, everyone online is almost always trying to do something important. They're just going about it in a hugely unfortunate way. So, for example, we want to communicate an urgent and sometimes well-founded belief that another person is mistaken. And what we too quickly say is, you're a fucking idiot who can jerk off with my shit. But what we could learn to say, given that no one ever learns anything under conditions of humiliation, is a more effective, I wonder if you might have missed something that feels important from where I'm positioned. Or, we want to stand up for clarity and common sense by admitting that we didn't understand something that another person said. And so we say, WTF, motherfucker! But it could be a revolutionary move with huge influence on the way other people start to think one could and should behave online to say, I found it at points a little bit hard to follow your train of thought, yet deeply respect your underlying intentions. Or, we want to convey immense disappointment, so we say, I used to like what you do, but now I think you're a phony and a total fraud, unsubbed wanker. But we could say, I'm puzzled because I generally very much admire you and I don't entirely see the point of what you seem to be doing. It would be lovely if you could perhaps explain things from your no doubt very legitimate perspective. Or sometimes we simply want to exorcise the humiliation that a cold and indifferent world has doled out to us. So, at our keyboard in the middle of the night, with the odd freight train whistling in the darkness outside, we say, suck it up bitches, bunch of fucking wanker spewing bullshit from your own anuses, when what we could learn to say from our isolated bedrooms is, I sometimes feel so sad and so alone. Let's remember that no one is ever brutal or cruel online by their ultimate free choice. They are so because they're hurt damaged, alone and afraid, and because no one has been kind or good to them for a long time. Behind every online outburst, there's always a complex, painful backstory, which we will mostly never know, but which we can be sure is there, and which has made it impossible for the commenter to feel that they can be realistic, reasonable or civil. People get rude too, because in their isolation and powerlessness, it's impossible for them to believe that others out there could be vulnerable to their insults. Their rudeness is grounded on a disbelief that strangers could take them seriously and might be tipped over into inner collapse, despair and self-hatred because of them. Such is their background feeling of impotence, the troll has forgotten their own power. After spending a while in the comments sections, it can be easy to form the belief that humans have grown into monsters. The good news is that even though comments claim to reflect how the world is, they in fact represent only the fringe views of a tiny percentage. They induct us to forget the vast, invisible army of moderate, reasonable, kind, not terribly opinionated individuals who are just standing by in silence, as appalled as we are. The world is much saner than it appears. The real achievement would be to build an online world, every bit as kind, patient and good as most of us are in our real lives at pretty much every moment of every day. Do you need a detox from your devices? Our phone detox is designed to help give you a well-deserved break from your phone.